Hello everyone, just waiting on YouTube to pick up. There it is. We see it. Hello. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you all. I'll be with you in a second now that uh, YouTube has decided it wants to play ball. Good, good, good. There we are. Excellent, excellent. We seem to have everything in place. Which is good, which is good. Beam seems to be having a little bit of a hiccup, but hopefully that'll pick up very, very soon. There we go. Right. Do, 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 do. Soon be with you. Right. Just remembered I need some questions. Need a question sheet. Got a game. Let's get that party started, shall we? Hello. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's not Eric. Your eyes do not deceive you. <laughs> I always put a preface in with this. Uh, the lovely Eric is taking some time off this week because obviously uh, some of you folks from across the pond will know that it's Thanksgiving uh, with you in the uh, United States. So uh, Eric's spending some wonderful time with his family uh, over the past few days and over the weekend as well. So I am your host with the least and uh, I'm going to be uh, taking you through a little journey in um, Everspace 2, which uh, I am hope. Um, yeah, so, sorry, Flory. No, that, that's all oh, people think I'm Eric. Yes, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what have we got this week for you well first off we're starting a new game um recently people have been giving me a little bit of grief when i've been playing through uh the game uh, in eric's stead previously by playing on normal so i thought to appease some of those especially you youtubers um i thought i might ramp it up a little bit and give it a little bit of a, uh, a boost so we're going to be playing on hard but we are going to be playing uh, a new game so yeah, we're going to be starting a new game all the way through. Um, for those of you uh, that normally uh, watch, obviously, I normally collect the questions. Um, but we've got somebody new on the duty this week who's going to be 
inputting some questions that I can answer uh, as we go. So if you want to, please do tag RFG Lee. Uh, he is the PR director of the company, a lovely fellow indeed. So he'll be um, cataloging the questions for me to take a look at and uh, we shall answer those as soon as we can uh, when we get around to it. So yeah, please do tag him in there. Uh, I don't know if Lee, I don't know if you're on Rockfish Games over on uh, YouTube, but uh, either way, I'm sure you folks can all uh, hang him over there and put in some questions. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to start with some gameplay on hard. Um, we've managed to get past um, where Dax is. Okay, so we found Dax. We've done that. We're on with the the bean bags, etc. Uh, so we're going to be doing the beanies. <laughs> Flory's like, what? Way just hard is too easy. It's too easy. Uh, <laughs> Rockfish demands questions, indeed, indeed. So if you do have any, we shall uh, we shall answer them. Uh, what about shield? No armor. Oh, Flory, that's good. That's good. So uh, yes, we're going to do a, a new play on hard. Uh, see how we fare. Uh, if we find that it's still too easy, we might bump it up again. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, we, we shall see. Uh, then we're going to be looking at some screenshots later on. Uh, when we do them every two weeks, these streams, we do collect quite a few awesome screenshots. And you guys, again, uh, as always, have been knocking it out of the park. And we're very, very thankful that you take some wonderful screenshots because we love to see them. So we're going to be showing them off. And then we're going to be having a look at um, what can only be described as a, a kind of lunacy, lunacy riff run uh, from uh, our esteemed wizard, Jerry, again. You may have seen it on the Discord, but... Everybody on the team was thoroughly impressed with this. So we're going to have a look at that. And then we might just might have a little sneak peek about something that's coming next week. See on that. See on that. But um, anyway, shall we dive in? Uh, if you, Like I say, if you do have any uh, questions, please do throw them into the chat. Uh, Lee will collate them for us. Uh, Rockfish Games over on YouTube or uh, RFG Lee over on Twitch. There you go. So we shall dive in, shall we? We shall load in our game save. Uh, there, there we go. Been playing 20 minutes just to get to the start point already. So I hope you're all well. Hope you all had a good week. Hope you're all uh, tickety boo. So here we are in our lovely little Sentinel. So we're going to go obviously looking for beanbags. You've all done this. I know you've all done it. So let's get out there, shall we? Let's go. Right. Where should we go first? Should we go Union Bridge? Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Oop, there we go. Off we go. So, uh, yeah. All splendid. I hope you all are. Hope you've all had a good week. Whatever you've been up to, let us know what you've been up to and what you got planning. I mean, obviously, it's Black Friday this week. Plenty of sales going on. Oh, yes. Plenty of sales. I wonder what else could be on sale. Talk about that in a bit. Right, reach the signal distractor, which happens to be over there. So yeah, dive in with those questions. We'll collect them as we normally do. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, I'll stop at a, a, a little uh, advantageous point and answer some of them as we as we get them. So here we go. Yeah, they see me. There you are. Come here, my little outlaw scout friend. We've got some bullets with your name on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Steve, I, I, I don't have the same size. <laughs> it's not an invisible bottle. It is actually green, but obviously green screen technology makes it disappear. <laughs> so, yeah, I do have some water. <laughs> oh, dear. First time we ever streamed and I had a green t-shirt on. That was fun. I was only ahead. Oops. Get rid of drone. Stupid Weber drone. Don't wait. How did you know it was a trap? <laughs> it is indeed a Romulan. Indeed. 
Uh, Louis Long, uh, I'll just answer your question. What we normally do is we collate them over time and then uh, I'll answer them. But I know you, you're quite new to the stream. Um, will there be any new bosses? We've got new content coming next year. Uh, who knows? Um, we we haven't got to that point of being able to reveal anything yet. Um, but as soon as we do, we'll be shouting it from the rooftop. So, uh, yeah, uh, don't worry. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. Right. Let's just throw these things. First uh, Beanie's back online. Boink. Excellent. There we go. For a proper disappearing act, we need two more. Right. So, I think what we're just going to do is we are just going to pop over here. We're just going to go to the little shop. We'll see if we've got anything. We haven't got much now, but you know, a little energy socket there, which we might come back to. Who knows? Trading outpost, always good. Uh, some of you Welcome might. To Union Bridge Ooh, hello. Station. We have repair facilities and a yes, storage container with ship parts and provisions. He do. does. As long as you'll be paying, I am happy to share. He's happy to share. That's always good. Uh, so some of you may have already noticed. I know some uh, Wizard Jerry did already. Uh, yes, that is the um, Kickstarter backer um, paint job on there. A uh, nice unique skin there that we have and. Uh, it's very very nice but the, yes that was a kickstarter exclusive i helped kickstart the game as well so yeah i i i wanted to see what happened with you i wanted to see I... so uh, yeah let's just have a little look in the shop we've only got 518 credits he might not have anything hello always handy these little pop-ups as well whenever you go to somewhere new obviously when you first interact with a shop you see you get commodity training uh, so uh, commodities will all have individual prices depending upon the system and location they are bought or sold. The demand is indicated by the colours red, yellow and green. Uh, when they send commodities from your cargo hold, if the commodity indicates a high demand, you can sell them at a profit. If the commodity has a low demand, commodity isn't ideal for selling. Uh, when purchasing commodities from a station, if the commodity has a low demand, you can purchase them at a discount. So look out for the greens when you're buying. Look out for the greens when you're selling. So anything green is good when you're selling or buying. Uh, if the commodity has a high demand, the commodity isn't ideal for purchase. Yes, indeed. Uh, and then the commodity info window shows the total price range within the DMZ as a line. Okay, so there's always a variance with the prices. Um, you could be in a good area for something to be sold, but it could be on the low end of the price and vice versa. So... Generally, if you're in the green, you're going to make a good profit. If you're in the red, don't, don't, uh, you're not going to make it. So there you go. Uh, by the way, at any point, if you do want to read through the guys in tutorials, I'm covering it. It's here. Just go back into your data menu here and you can read everything that you've seen. So you can always go back over it. So just so you're aware on there. Right. So you didn't really have anything that was in my price range. People do forget when we get a lot of questions about where certain items are within the DMZ when we're flying around. It could be that they're specifically looking for where's a good place to get iron. Always be on the lookout at shops. Vendors do sell them. They do sell a distinct amount. So always be on the lookout uh, and uh, keep your eyes peeled whenever you dock at a vendor. Have a little look through the uh, their inventory. You might find something that's really, really valuable. You never know what they've got. It may cost you, but... You never know. You never know. Right. Nothing really for us here just yet. We'll just undock and be on our merry way. Right. Get over here. Let's go to Cito Outer. Room. Off we go. Off. How did you ever end up in a place like this? Indeed. How did you? I was stationed in the Ethan system as part of our rear guard subunit. We did some scouting missions, but really not much else. How many were you? Around 12. Some died. Some became outlaws. Two pals and I got out before the war got really ugly. This is where we ended up. Feels like the edge of the universe. It isn't. <clears throat> but if you squint, you can see it from here. Thank you. <clears throat> Let me know if the volumes are all okay, if my voice is coming through. I don't want to be overpowered by the game or anything like that. So uh, you let me know. Ooh. Empty distress call. Sometimes easy money. Sometimes easy money. <clears throat> hey. Any son of the beanie out there? Don't know. I got this 
Jumping around. And there we go. Level up. Calls a shop. Level up. <laughs> so yeah, when you level up, you do increase your base stats of so structure, firepower, precision, utility, resistance, and expertise, which will give you bonuses to your hit points, damage, and repairs. Again, all this you can read again within your um, guys, etc. <clears throat> now we've got a little escape pod down here. I think we might just go uh, see what's going on here. Are you? Yeah. Download the logbook. Hey, interesting. Always good when you find these. <clears throat> a little bit of a heart back to our uh, Everspace one. We used to find lots of information. Mm, he's giving us a quest. Andy. Right. We will go speak to the flying duchess. The lovely lady that is Marie de Vint. Again, we may find something that um, she has on offer. But when we're very low on credits, always good to have a little look. Various things such as shipwrecks, firing kit, they come in handy. Okay. Back to there, but there she is in her flying Dutchish ship itself. Wow. Oh, oh, would you look at that? Customer or outlaw? Customer, I guess. But can't you be both? Can't you be both, Not indeed? Here at the flying Duchess, you can't. I operate an honest business. I see. Say, you look like you can handle yourself very well in a situation. Looks like I'm going to get a job Are from Marie de Vint. Hunting outlaws in a more creative way. I'll even throw in some reward for you. Oh, what do you say? Very kind of her. Very kind look. of her. Music a little loud. I can sort that for you. That's not a problem. There we go. So just tweak the music. There we go. We'll knock that down. There we go. All good. All good. We're over here by the looks of it. One thing to always look out for within the game, we do like to give uh, little pointers, little hints on where you could possibly go looking for things. Now you can just see it's popped up on the radar. However, the clue would have been all the massive proximity mines around this area. And you'd be like, why are they so protective of that? So maybe there's something in here. We'll go have a look. Uh, also be mindful as well of gas canisters and things that may um, try and blow your face off. Is never good. Right. Now... Oh. Yeah, container. Okay, shield XC, not really that great, but there we go. We'll keep hold of it for the time being. So we've got a power core. Grab. And we shall plonk into a socket. Bulletproof container. No, there we go. Right, loading back in. Yes. Whew. Thanks. Uh, Louis Long, uh, I know you're looking for a follow-up. We can't actually answer anything on those uh, lines about what's coming in the future. We're just not at that point ready to uh, reveal that. So uh, as soon as we uh, let you know, we'll let you know. There we go. We're back in front of your orbit. Oh, hello. Give me that. I want that. Right, head over here because we know that in here, if we can find our way, there's a nice little canister which we want to avoid. We don't want to be blowing ourselves up. Oop. There we go. I'll take these, thank you. You'll take those, thank you very much. There we go. And let's see what we've got. Uh, ooh, that's nice. That's a nice little upgrade. We'll take that and then we can dismantle that. Boop. And there we go. Let's 
floating away. Come here, come here. <coughs> we need things to go into the sockets. Thank you. And ooh, a flak. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. We'll drag these over and we may use them, we may not. We may. Right. We'll try not to blow ourselves up as we fly through here with the greatest of ease. And into some proximity mines, because that would not be a good idea. Right, just to get some credits, what we'll do is we'll land at the Flying Duchess and then we'll hand those in. switch to that it can be quite handy but we'll just sell that we shall keep hold of that for the second just when we break this down this was free so even though it's the low end of mediocre we might as well sell it to marie event i'm sure she'll be appreciative we'll keep those in case of uh, anything that we need to um to make later on right next up moving on avoiding anything that could bash us into the face Indeed. Uh, Why are they called beanbags? So they make our indicator jump around like beanbags getting juggled. Juggled? Man, you obviously juggled? never had to endure shift duty. Hey, station AI, give Adam all the data you have on juggling. Affirmative. Huh, didn't know we had access to an AI. Yeah, we yeah. hadn't until I just repaired it. Cool. And uh, who's Maddox? Uh, just some moron I used to serve <laughs> with. <laughs> yeah, who is Maddox? Who is he indeed? Scrap. The filter's rattling again. Talk to you soon. Right. Found one of your beanies. Looks like an asteroid bumped off half of its antennas. Wink. Maybe we're lucky and they got caught up somewhere. Hey, try running a hollow scan to simulate the crash. And what do you think I just did? What do you Smart think he man. just did? Okay. There's one. If the joints are up for it, you don't have to be a quark mechanic to reattach them. Let that one rip. I didn't. Just let that one rip. Oh. Ooh. Container there. Let's see what's in the container. Head over to here to get that one, the disruptor antenna. Run out of juice. Give me a push, somebody. Give me a push. First, yeah, That's the first one done. Now, second one is this one. Over there. So, we're heading over here. Somewhere over here. Find the asteroids. We don't want to be whacking it. There we see. And there's the other one. Oop. Grabbed it. There you go. Take it back. Nice. There we go. All done, done, done. Base marker is now everywhere but here. You can come back to base now. I found something that can make life a lot easier for you. Right, let's check these out. Let's clear the area of these stinking outlaws. sensor right so we've got an energy sphere socket down here we just need to find an energy sphere dispenser hopefully he's in here somewhere 
Okay. Well, ooh, I'll tell you what we found over here. Energy sphere dispenser. Create one. And let's take it to the socket and let's see what it gives us. Gives us some treats. There we go. Oops. Boink. Open sesame. So bulletproof containers, just so you know the difference. Normal containers, you can shoot them and they will just throw out all sorts of goodies for you. Uh, whereas obviously bulletproof ones, you can't. You've literally got to go up to the door and open them. Okay, so what did we get there? So we got some maximum rockets. Be rude not to use those. Oil gun. Um, energy. Do you like high velocity? Oh, we'll switch for it for now. We may switch it back. We may switch. Yikes. Right. Obviously that stays there. Right, shall we head back then? Oh, there's a lot of enemies around here. Don't necessarily need to uh, to destroy them and make them late for their tea or anything like that. Affirmative. Good. Make a cross search on Maddox and Dax. They don't know their last names. Found multiple mentions in the Ethan mutiny. Second lieutenant. In about five minutes or so, I'll start cracking through through some, some of the questions that uh, uh, Lee's been uh, collating for me. Uh, so if you do want to tag any questions, and I'll try and answer them uh, collectively. Um, if you give Rockfish Games uh, a tag over on uh, youtube and rfg lee over on twitch and anywhere else just ask a question and we'll try and get it uh, answered as well so yeah please please do shipwreck okay get some stuff get some cool stuff Open up Okay. Cargo. Ooh, okay. okay. Cargo. Cargo hold. Cargo unit. Very handy. We are going to get one anyway, but we're going to put that in as well. Because that gives us the ability to... Oh, yes. Always, always handy. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, so now we can dismantle things. So as we pick things up and we don't necessarily like them or we don't need them, like, for example, here... With the sensor that we've just swapped out, we can just dismantle. Uh, and all you do, once you've got a cargo unit, you must have a cargo unit. Um, once you have one of those, hold down the X key or whatever the key is that you've done it. And you start to dismantle. And by that way, you can uh, unlock new parts for crafting, which is now unlocked as well. So we don't need these rockets. So I am going to dismantle there. So you can see that they've got a blueprint, zero of three. If we dismantle, now we've learn part of the blueprint so only part not all but just part of the blueprint uh, again same with this one i'm not going to use it so i'm going to get rid of it uh flack i'm probably not going to use it so i'll just dismantle it for the blueprint i'll keep hold of that for the time being but now you can see that we've got certain uh options for crafting in terms of primary weapons um secondary weapons modules etc now um uh, when you look at this in terms of the flak uh, that is one of the ones that we've just literally unlocked, which is quite very, very handy. Um, bear with me a second. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, one of three. If we get another two and we break them down, then obviously we will now have uh, um, the ability to actually craft a common. How you doing, Bearded Frog, and everybody else joined us on YouTube? How are you all? Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Yeah, Eric's not here. He's enjoying some time off over uh, the Thanksgiving period in the US, where he's based. So, uh, yeah, you unfortunately got to put up with me this week. <laughs> but we are playing a new playthrough uh, on hard difficulty just to uh, to see how things go. So, uh, right, we're, we're just coming up on half an hour, so we'll dive into some of the questions. Um, Louis Long, I know you've answered that one. Uh, Johan Cross over on YouTube. What are your favourite weapon loadouts? I'm a bit of a... I'm going to tie this in with a ship as well. I am a kind of um, 
gunship fanboy as well. I do like the gunship, although the striker has been getting some good love for me, but I do like the flak. I know, I know people are going to say, yeah, yeah, it's easy with the flak. I, I, it's, it is, yeah, it is. I, I just like the fact that you can run around with uh, any any form of flak and just like obliterate things in such an easy manner. Uh, and even collecting resources can be very, very handy with it as well. Uh, auto cannons, another favorite of mine. And even like what we've just taken off, I do like pulse lasers. Call me a traditionalist. I do like pulse lasers. They're very, very handy. Very, very nice. Um, and I do find them uh, quite, uh, quite satisfying when they take down the shields. Now we do need to be accessing into here somewhere. Let's see. So we can find our way. Undead ship. There's a generator there. We can hear it. We can hear that. Um uh, Louis Long, uh, where is Earth? Um, if that's what you mean within the game, uh, it's a long distance away. It's, it's nowhere near where we are in the Belter grid. Um, but if you mean where is Rockfish, then predominantly the team is based in, in Hamburg. Right, so there is a generator there. Let's back off a little bit. There we go. How can it still have so much power? Um... Aceberg on Twitch, will we have Everspace online? Um, honestly, it's a bit of a difficult one to, to answer because we haven't started work on any other games or anything. We are concentrating on Everspace 2 at the moment. Um, we're not going to have co-op. We're not going to have multiplayer uh, in, in Everspace 2. Um, it's not something that we're going to be able to achieve. I know some people will be like very disappointed to hear that uh, unfortunately it would mean that we'd have to significantly rewrite the game um because we based it solely around single player um but we do hear people we do hear what people uh, desire what their suggestions are etc so um you can never say never but i, I i'm not going to say a definite that it's going to be something that happens so um we'll have to wait and see but certainly we've got more things to come for Everspace 2 in terms of the uh, another free DLC uh, in the spring next year. And then obviously the premium uh, expansion, which will be coming out uh, much later, much later. Right. I need to hit that, don't I? Somehow. There we go. Ooh, change of viewpoint. Always handy. Always handy. Right, a power core dispenser. And I've got to get that through there. Um... Uh, Dark, oh, uh, Dars Mark 59 over on YouTube. How is your aim so direct? I feel quite sluggish. Uh, I know you've asked another question a little bit later on, which is, are you playing on PC? Uh, yes, I am. I am playing on PC. Um, sometimes the sensitivity can be uh, a thing that plays in terms of aim so direct. One other thing is as well, um, we'll just have a look in, in the settings as well. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I find it in the right place. No, it's an input. That's a keyboard. You do have a setting here, which is auto aim, and it does affect even your uh, PC players. So if you are thinking, oh, I'm not hitting very well, or you're finding your accuracy a, a little bit problematic, then do look at the auto aim strength, and it can help. There's nothing wrong. We give these options there for players so that if they need to use them, then they're available. Um, so... I am a bit more practiced. I've got hundreds of hours playing Everspace 1 and Everspace 2. and, and Everspace. So I kind of have a, a kind of flow with how it uh, aims, etc. Some people are much more accurate than I am. Uh, much, much more accurate than I am, um, as we'll probably see later on when you see the video. Um, but yeah, that's something that can help as well. Also, changing sensitivity and the mouse dead zone can help. They're set to default for me, um, but it's something that you could look at tweaking as well. So do have a look. Uh, auto aim obviously is very very much more um influential on console because people do need that little bit more help so yeah just so you know some people might not be aware of that one right so let's just there how are these there give me that unstable power core which somehow i've got to try and get through this gap here Indeed. How, Adam? How? Let's do this. Let's poke it through. Sometimes even switching to first person can help. And then just 
Bloink. There we go. Look at that. And we go. Sparky, sparky. Into a bulletproof container. What's it going to give us? Is it going to be anything good? Let's open it up. A cargo unit and an energy core. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, says Adam. And, yep, hello. Try not to bounce and break the, you know, scratch the paintwork. It's expensive. Well, they just paid for it. Oh, there we go. Look at that new little decal. So we'll just have a quick look. I'm going to put that in because it increases our firepower and our dismantling quality. So that's going to give us a little bit more stuff. And then we'll put that energy core on just because it's a bit stronger overall. So now we can dismantle that. And also the cargo unit will dismantle that. So that's all good. Now remember, sometimes you may think, oh, I need the money. I need the money. So you could sell the items rather than dismantling them. Also, um, if you do need to get a specific uh, item ready for crafting, then yeah, break them down, dismantle them so that you have the blueprint. Very, very handy. Um, Louis Long over on YouTube. How long does boss take to find? Uh, if you're meaning within uh, Everspace 2, it, it varies. Um, obviously, if you're talking about the end game boss uh, as it is, that's many, many hours. There's some mini bosses as well as you go through the game that we consider mini bosses, kind of challenges and encounters. But uh, that kind of very much varies as we go along. Um, <laughs> Bearded Frog, I am actually doing a brand new save. We're playing on hard because <laughs> some of you people were uh, giving me grief for, uh, you know, playing on normal. Uh, so, Bane, how are you doing uh, over on there? Welcome to the Everspace 2 community. You just bought the game. Oof. Well done, Mini Bane. Thank you very much. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. So, um, uh, what is the original Adam Roslin's birth planet? Now, this is a very good question, and I don't actually know the answer to it. Uh, Eric is definitely the law guy. Um, but I will see if we can follow up on that, and I'll dig into the, to the law. Um, I'm sure many years ago um his parentage um was possibly from the soul system obviously where kind of earth is but i don't know for definite in the terms of the law of everspace so i'll definitely have a look have a look right so we found that let's head out of here shall we let's 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 go let's get out <sighs> <laughs> Our Adam was definitely born in a tube, yeah. Where, where the original... I'd have to dig into that one. Definitely dig into that one a bit. But uh, keep the questions coming. We'll dive on with a much more uh, gameplay. And uh, and then we'll answer some more in about another 20 minutes. Is Sivia more difficult than his last normal gameplay? Indeed, it is, it is up a notch. Um, yeah, like I say, I was getting some grief. Especially from the YouTubers. <laughs> we listen we aim to please so, right back to the home base let's see what Dax has got to say for himself There it is. Open the clock container. Nice. And then while we're here, it'd be rude not to get the atheum. There we go. And then we'll head back to the home base. Still on the scrub. <laughs> Nightmare Check robot. This out. While going through some old junk, I found some protective plating for your ship. Nice. I'll give you an edge in an upcoming fight. I put it in our storage. A nice little bonus there from Dax, isn't it? Let's uh, let's just have a little look. See there. To storage. There it is. Some armor. Bits. Bits. Nice. So installing plating items gives your ship's armor. 
It protects against energy damage and a second layer of protection after your shield has been depleted. Once your armor reaches zero, your hull is exposed and will become vulnerable. Mm. There we go. Dax, who was Gabbert Voigt? I wondered how long. Yes, we'll skip that conversation, shall we? We'll skip that. <laughs> right, there we go. So we completed that. We completed. We don't need to restock. We've got nothing in the inventory. We're all good. We'll put that there because we may sell that. I don't tend to use mines. Mines are not a preference of mine. Um, so I'm probably just going to keep all of them to sell. So we shall see. Right, so we've got a dock at the trading post at Union Bridge, where we've been. So let's head out of there again. Daniel Matty, how are you doing? Welcome along. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, when you Flory over on Twitch wants wants me to um um have a word with the team so that whenever your um armor is broken, it goes flying a stolen combat ship. you'll think of something. Who knows? It'd be good one. Be good. Be good. Here, e boink. There we go. Hi, I'm looking for a Prime Sense STA. That's the pre-war model. It is. It's a pre-war model. Ugh, we've got to go find one of those, haven't we? And we have at the shop. But as you can see, very expensive. Now, these are the things that we've picked up: mining equipment in situ. It's green, which means when you sell it, it's actually a decent price. Um, it's on the low end, you know, obviously pushing towards the top 80s would be uh, or mid 80s would be a good price. Um, but it's it's good enough to sell. So we're just going to sell it. Same with the ramen. Uh, all freebies you see are all profit. All freebies. All profit. There we go. But yeah, we still can't get anything. See, plasma sometimes when you're looking to try and unlock things such as your perks. Yeah, we need iron, we need power cells, and we need more credits. So we're not there yet. We're not yet. Not yet. Um, in fact, I'll sell them as well. Right. Okay, so we're going to go find a, a horrible little container, which is somewhere over here in the search area. No, it's not is it? Five. One of them's a pretty nasty viper. I knew it. Don't let them get away. Don't let them get away. I'll try not to. I'll try not to. Ooh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Blimey. The outlaw madcap. He literally blew up. All these mines came out. I flew straight into it. Boom. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's an unfortunate. That is an unfortunate one. Buy me. <laughs> anyway. Take two. Damn. <laughs> oh dear. Scrub most. It was. Oh, that was just so unfortunate timing. Oh dear. That station doesn't look abandoned to me. How many are there? Five. One of them's a pretty nasty viper. I knew it. Don't yeah, y'all not gonna go away, are you? Let's do that. Where are I? Hello. You can go where? Let's try this again. Indeed.
Oh my word. <laughs> this madcap again, the pod. Damn! I can't even blame. I can't. Do you know the the annoying thing is I can't actually blame anybody else. Nobody else gave me this save. It wasn't like it was a bad save. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that wizard, Jerry. That station doesn't look abandoned to me. How many are there? Five. One of them's a pretty nasty viper. I knew it. Don't let them get away. Right. Oof. They are the problem. Uh, madcaps. When you destroy them, all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. You can see how many popped out there. Of course, me flying straight into them does not help. <laughs> does not help. There we go. Whoa. Rubbish. That was terrible. That was terrible. Right, so he's jumped out. That's fine. Let's have a little smooch around. No. Nope. What ship types did the group fly? Apart from that elite viper, there were two madcaps, a scout, and a sniper drone. Just as I thought. I hate those guys. They pestered me to sell them the wares, but I turned them down. They didn't happen to have left their address by any chance. The viper pilot has his lair in Rodeo orbit. <laughs> I would be very grateful if you could get my package back. This will cost you. How about a raise up to 3.5k? Sounds fair. I'm on it. <laughs> I, I see the covers. I see the covers. Yeah, I totally forgot about the cheeky. I could have used that, couldn't I? I really could, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know I know. I actually give gr uh, grief to Eric um, for um, not using his cheeky, and I've done exactly the same. Yeah, I wasn't going for a triple there. I was definitely not going for a three death. I thought I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my distance. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep out of the way here. <laughs> oh, that was shocking. That was terrible. I right. see you're still around. Yes, we're just gonna restart. I am indeed. Um, that's a potential. Well, potential. Obviously, we can't buy that outright. Mm, okay, nothing. Nothing. Okay, there. See that there. <laughs> yeah, you could be very right on that uh, bearded frog. Yes, I think we do. Uh, we do need it. Hello, we got in here. Should help. We'll keep that and just pop that out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Right. So we need to go there. Ooh, hello. There's some free stuff. Free stuff. If I find free stuff, I need to go shoot free stuff. There we go. Credits and super gel. Credits, nice and simple. Credits, nice and simple. And web missiles. They could come in handy. Ooh, another. Wow! Look at all the look at all the freebies. All the freebies. I did. Uh, yes, absolutely, I do. You know, 
it, it's it's always the case of when the shoe's on the other foot it's it's never that easy and uh, yeah Ooh. and it just shows how good a pilot eric is to play on nightmare i know some of you other guys are just phenomenal pilots and can manage to do nightmare with your eyes closed yeah uh, i t i tip my hat to you. you you're very very good very very good Ooh, ship color and credits well this is why we have varying difficulties for uh players because we've got to accommodate everybody of different difficulty uh ability rather so um would be nice nice be nice oh have, let's jump let's jump excellent off we go <laughs> yes cargo jacket that is exactly it. i i i've very rarely played this game We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Excellent. Right, let's head to Ruddy Orbit. Hopefully, let's not die. Right, I think I need to clear these out first. Would be handy, I think. Good. We picked up a energy sphere over there as well. Hello, hello, what, what, where? Oh, over there. There we go. Let's go. Okay, I didn't really want to do this, but seeing as they've got me tagged now, I need to take these out of the equation. I think. Indeed. Let's just get out of there. How are we doing with them rockets? Nope. Behave. Where are you going? There you go. Yes. Blueprints. A booster. Yeah, we, a blueprint. we always could. We always could. Free stuff. Free stuff. Excellent. Ooh, this hello. Name frame component very handy when you get three of them and uh, we've got some memory recalibrators very handy for later on oh hello we got friends again good to see you good to see you you know what i just so i don't forget i'm gonna use my g key where are you where are you thank you turn that off some people might not know when you have your um ultimate up Obviously, it starts to drain by killing things, etc. It will start to progressively over time fill up again. If you don't want to use it all, hit your G key again and it will stop it. Okay, so it'll stop draining. Handy, handy, very, very handy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as a super scrapper, I only need you telling the ones. Something like that. I'm going to blame it on the fact I'm streaming. Normally, I, you know, normally, I, obviously, it's just second nature for me. You know, just to use the... Uh, hey, come back. Come back, Scram Hill. We need you. Um, there we go. Right. Collecting up blueprints with a prize. With a prize. Right. Let's go deal with this Viper, shall we? Oh, no. They've just pulled... Wow, will you just all leave me alone? I'm just trying to have a friendly discussion with this Viper. And you're just not all being nice. And you're coming for a bit of a play as well. Everybody's not liking me today, are they? They're just all taking me on. They're just like... Mm. I think everybody's upset. Everybody's just upset. Right. Right. You're going to leave me alone now, everybody. You know. Just. Yeah, you can jump out. Thank you. Right. Let's go have a little word with this Viper, shall we? Did the traitor send you? Yeah. Don't try anything. 
anything funny. Yeah, don't try anything funny. No, we won't. Wow. It's me. Did the package contain some viridian paint by any chance? Yes, that's it. The recipient is already waiting for you at the outer rim. There we go. You know that viridian products are illegal. I'm sorry, but I'm not paying you so well to ask questions. Indeed. Also layers up maybe. Whoop. There we go. So there's another base over there. Whoop. A lot of mines. Let's, let's kind of avoid them. We have a history with mines, don't we? There we go. Handy. Right, let's just head over here then and clear up this station. We may find something. Apart from rockets that are trying to take our head off. There we go. You can go away, thank you. Wow, whoop. Hello. Come in. Another one just popped out just there. Thank you. Ooh, that was close. Thank you. <laughs> it's just when you hear that whoosh as something comes flying behind you and you think, ooh, that's going to hurt. Right. There we go. You can blow up certain things, such as these tanks, which may give you things like plasma. Could be very handy. Or it could give you nothing at all. Sometimes it's just nice things to collect. Or tanks there. Crap metal. The, all these are freebies. So, never discount them. Freebies. Always good. Right. Uh, scrap metal there. There's an energy core dispenser. See, let's go have a look at that. Let's see what freebies we've got. Uh, yeah, a few more minutes and we'll have a look at some more questions, see what we've got, and uh, we'll answer them. So if you've got anything that you want to uh, ask, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to answer. If I can't, I will always try and find out for you. Then uh, then please do uh, tag Rockfish Games over on YouTube and on Twitch, uh, RFG Lee. There is uh, the wonderful Lee, who's the PR director of the company. Wonderful chap. He's collating everything for me. So we can answer them shortly. Right. Done that. Let's go get the new coordinate, shall we? Off we go. There we go. Flying along, flying along. <laughs> Super scrapper. You want to fly into those mines? They're XP mines. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> uh, yes, RFG, yes, to, to be fair, yes, I, I do get paid, uh, paid every month to say nice things about my colleagues. But no, yeah, to be fair, they are all top notch people to work with. Absolute top notch people to work with. Uh, love it, love it. Here we go. Uh, are you the guys I'm supposed to meet? You have Indeed. a package? Yeah. This paint job will finally make us stand out. They will see that we're not like everyone else. Am I the only one who prefers to not stand out? Indeed, here? Adam. Indeed. Excellent. Right, so they've jumped out. Uh, there is a shipwreck here. But well, there's some mines there, so do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of them mines. Oh, hello. AK. Okay, right. Three credits. Three credits. Always good. Okay. Fine, Duchess. She's here. Okay. Let's go see her. We might be able to sell some stuff. I know we're going to be going back to the um, uh, Union Bridge uh, vendor, but we'll go see what she's got. Like I say, you never know. You never know. Yeah. 
Whoosh. There we go. And that makes it perfect timing. Perfect timing. Um, Super Scrapper, is the actual Adam, uh, original Adam, alive in the universe? I don't believe he is. Um, I, um, I don't think he is now. Uh, time has passed, etc. And he's been a clone of a clone of a clone of, you know, several clones. Again, law, I'm not completely certain of, but it'd be interesting to uh, see. Um, so why are the Adam Rosling flashbacks? Aha, Louis Long. Interesting on that one. Play the game a little bit more, you may kind of get uh, a bit of a understanding of um, why he's having these flashbacks. There is a reason, um, but I um, have to wait and see on that one. Wait and see. Um, who we got? Soul Matty, uh, Matty Matt even over on Twitch. Whatever happened to the Okar frigates? Mig missed them from the first game. Oh yes. Um, the Okar frigates, because the Okar war has ended. Um, obviously, the DMZ is a relatively, what's a civilized place um, in terms of people such as the Oka aren't battling with humans etc um so there's no need for the frigates to be there it would be seen as an act of aggression um there's certain tolerance from either side um and the Oka are almost been very calm uh, they know that if they brought their frigates in that obviously uh, for people who don't know in the first game if you hung around in a certain sector because it was a roguelike you would have uh, Okar frigates chasing you, pushing you on to the next um, sector. Uh, and it was a bit of a uh-oh moment and it could get very, very painful very quickly. So um, that's the reason they're not in the game um, of Everspace 2 because we're in a kind of different time zone uh, in terms of we're in a very um, non-warring uh, moment. You know, So there's no Okar war going on there at, at the time. So that's why you don't see the Okar frigates. Um They'll be around, but they're just not there um, in terms of where we are in the timeline. Uh, Flory2931 over on Twitch. Uh, what is an ultimate? That is a very good question. Uh, yes, the ultimate obviously is a button that you should press regularly, um, especially when it's um, fully charged because it gets you out of certain situations and it stops you from dying. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, the ultimate, every ship has an ultimate in some shape or form. We, especially Eric and myself, as has been proven, we tend to forget that we've got them. We're too focused, we're too focused. Um, at Louis Long over on YouTube, uh, will you give better overpowered weapons in the future? Um, overpowered weapons are problematic. Uh, if you mean legendaries then yes, we have said that we will have more content along those lines coming. Uh, but some people don't find that the legendaries are necessarily the most powerful weapons. They are a very powerful but unique weapon, but they're not necessarily the best weapon overall. We have a lot of synergies in the game now in terms of the item sets, which can work better. You can have star forged items, which just may be that perfect, unique uh, uh, weapon that you're looking for. That could top off your playstyle and build. So yes, there will be uh, better weapons coming in terms of uh, different ones, but nothing to reveal on that score at the moment. Um, we've got a question from Rob over on YouTube. Um, come on, Twitch. They're, they're, they're beating you here with all the questions. Um, does the game work with a flight stick or is it a controller better? Um, so you can use flight sticks. Um it is a unique way to play the game. Um, our preferred control method is con uh, is keyboard and mouse. That is uh, because it, it was designed on PC. Now you can use a controller, a gamepad, etc. That is an option, uh, obviously, because we're on consoles now, uh, as of August. However, flight sticks can be... Um, it can take a bit of getting used to. Um, I wouldn't want to play the game because of the style of it, but some people do love uh, playing uh, the game with flight sticks. Now, what I would suggest is if you've not already bought the game is to download the free demo. Yes, we have a free demo. 
yes so you can play and play and play um for you know for about a level 10 i think you can get some people probably pushed it a little bit further around there within ceto where i am now but test if your joystick works sometimes you need to rebind uh options etc we do have some profiles within the the options as well if i just go to the pause menu and settings um in the input you can see that we've got gamepad joystick so you can set various things here um but we also have an option to customize controls so if you have a specific preset here uh, I'm kind of in the way here, aren't I? Yeah, typical. There we go. Let me just lean out of the way a little bit. You can see all these different presets that we have. So like the Thrustmaster T16000 uh, uh, M is an option, Hotas Warthog, etc. So there's a, there's a variety of ones there. And then you can obviously do certain um, uh, builds yourself, which again, it's down to you to do on that. So we do provide some base um, profiles, but once you start going into specifics, like, oh, I want that, you know, uh, key bind on that key, then you'd have to rebind yourself. So we have some basic ones. We have some basic. Ones. Um, Louis Long over on YouTube wants to know: Is there a concept art of the Blakemore final boss? I actually don't know if we've got. We've, we probably have somewhere, um, but I don't think we've ever released any. I know, obviously, in the in the art book, the digital art book, which is available now, uh, which you can buy in the Everspace store. Uh, Everspace 2 store anyway on the, on Steam um, there is obviously some concept art in there there's quite a lot of the concept art um, I know some of you uh, just while we're on talking about the uh, the art book etc I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later on um, when we're looking at the screenshots I know there's been a few questions flying around etc but I'm going to be talking a little bit uh, about the art book uh, uh, after you know probably in about another 30 minutes or so uh, Louis Long uh, also asks, um, what year does the game take place in? That is a very good question. And I would have to look up the law for that. Um, because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I'll make a note. I will make a note. Uh, of when Everspace 2 is set. And I shall find out for you. I shall make a note and we shall find out. We shall so, um, there we go. So, we're back here. We need to sell some stuff, don't we? We do need to sell some stuff. That's a nanobot small. We can sell that one. Uh, we can stack that one. That's interesting. It's got more capacity as the shield, but the recharge is significantly slower and longer. So I'm probably not. We're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep hold of that for the time being. Maybe, maybe. Okay, we we'll keep hold of that as well. Uh, quick restock, yeah, because we could do with some of that. And then let's fly off. Here we go. Right, so we need to go back to Union Bridge. Head there. Uh, Jeremiah, funnily enough, just go. Okay, okay, talk away, talk away. Uh, Jeremiah, um, just uh, a question on uh, YouTube, actually, and it's very similar to the situation where I am at the moment. When starting out on hard difficulty, I find it often um, getting one-shotted during the main quest is a recommended way of handling the higher difficulty. To be honest with you, um, as you've seen, um, you may have seen, I've actually died twice, and that was to the madcaps. The madcaps are an absolute pest um, at lower levels because of the mines that they drop, and you take so much impact. One thing to do is make sure you... <laughs> to use your devices so if you've got the emp for example and the um teleport or anything like that make sure that you use those devices you've also got your ultimate on your ship so <laughs> i know people are probably going to be like mm, you're telling people to use your ultimate and you're not using it yourself uh yeah use your ultimate as often as you can also if you are finding that your things are getting too close uh and you're having too much happening around you try and keep your distance for, from enemies it can be easier to take them on at range and pick your battles if you're finding that you're getting overwhelmed whew, get out of there if you can uh using your boost however way hit them with the amp and then get out of dodge um so that's probably one thing to to, to look at 
Also, make sure you're looking at your weapons. As you kind of get higher and higher in the difficulty, your weapons need to be good and on level. Otherwise, you're going to struggle. You're not going to be able to take down the enemies if you're being handicapped by your weapon level or your weapon power. So do keep in mind, even if you've got to craft a new weapon, even if you've got to go save some money and then go buy it, um, then pretty much, you know, uh, improve your ship as much as you can. There we go. Right. There we go. First, bring the game sound back up. There we go. Let's see if we can buy some of this. Now, how are we going to have enough money to buy this Prime Sense SDA? That's the question. Excellent job. Here are your credits. Great. Oh, and one more thing. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Indeed. When the two Viper pilots came by to order yep. the paint. Yep, let's skip the that for a second. Okay. Pause that there. There we go. Didn't want that, did we? Right. I think I just need to bring back up. There's no missing. There we are. There they are. All good. All good. We're back. Excellent. Right, so we've got 7,621 credits, which means... We can actually buy the Prime Sense SDA. One hey! Scanner coming right up. Say, do you know about any medical stations nearby? Hmm. The closest is probably the one at Prescott Starbase in Union. And here in Cedo? You're kidding, right? Out here, no one ever cared about infrastructure like that. Not even during the war. I understand. Thanks anyway. No problem. There we go, there we go. Ryan, let's have a, just a quick look through. Is there anything else that we need? Small arms? No. Uh, nothing yet. There. Okay. We craft anything. We craft a blaster because we've done that one. We can do a module because we've obviously got the blueprint for that. We can make it spare parts and circuitry. Spare parts and circuitry. One thing I'll just touch on, actually, about the circuitry and spare parts. I know we had a um, a wonderful support forum on our Discord. So if you do have any questions uh, that you need to throw at the, us at the team, uh, or you've got any bugs that you want to report, if you're not on Steam, then you can put it in there, whether you're on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, whatever it is. There was a question regarding circuitry, specifically circuitry. Hello, circuitry. Um, that people, especially at higher levels, are finding that they're not getting as much circuitry. Um, now... I'm not going to say that it's been put in place, but it was something that did come up and I brought it to the team's attention in terms of people are struggling to get circuitry. So the team are looking at ways to improve that. When that will happen or if it will happen, I cannot say. But just to highlight that if you do mention something that you're finding is problematic with the game because you guys are eyes and ears at such high level, then... It will be something that we'll take a look at because it could be a concern. Okay, so don't ever be afraid to say, hey, I'm struggling with this. We're not finding this. Please do let us know. We're more than happy to take a look and things could be tweaked, could be refined to make things uh, uh, a little bit um, easier uh, for, for you um, high-level gamers. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely uh, uh, look at ways to improve that. So, yeah, that's uh, specifically something that uh, we did get mentioned this week. So... Well, nothing else we're going to craft. Uh, obviously, these things here are all what we need for uh, our perks. Tractor beam is always good to start with, I think. Uh, credits, not enough ATM. We've got... Okay, we'll invest in that. We haven't got any power cells. Can we craft the power cells? That's the thing. Can we craft them? Components. Power cell. What do we need? Iron. <laughs> we literally need the iron. We have just, yes, typical. <sighs> Dax, come in, Dax. Ooh, hello. Any news? Any news? So I just bought the STA. And guess what? There are no medical stations out here. I told you we would come across something with enough time. With I enough time. time. Why am I getting the feeling you're just using me to beef up your crappy station on the cheap? Listen. I didn't have to take you in or stick your friend in my freezer. I'm trying to help you, but we got to do it my way. 
with patience and under the radar. This is taking far too long. But <laughs> people like us, it is what it is. Indeed. No shortcuts in the DMZ. Ah, uh, Decivian, yeah. I, like I say, um, if people do come across issues, and uh, especially you guys that are grinding rifts or even just near towards the end game, and you're thinking, I can't do something, please just let us know. Um, it could be something that we can look at and tweak. Like I say, in this instance, it was just, you know, uh, scrap spare parts and circuitry and all that kind of jazz. And th there's ways that we could possibly look at it. So we're more than happy to try and accommodate people if we can. It's never a promise that we will, but we'll certainly look at it and uh, the team will discuss things. This is sticking your fingers in the faces of the very people we want to avoid. And we want to avoid. My friend is in trouble and this Indeed. is my chance to help him. The convoy's AI driven. They're just a few guards. I might even manage to steal the meds without any trouble at all. I don't like it. If this operation goes south, it's on you. It's on me, apparently. Got it. Got it. I get it. It's been like that all my life. All his life. Right, so Nerea trans transit point, not transit point. Hayden Kedon over on uh, Twitch. How are you doing? Welcome along. Welcome along. Get <laughs> those questions coming as we dive onto Nerea transit point. Do you want to know anything? Just holler. We'll try and answer it, as we always do. <clears throat> good. They're still locked in transit. Ooh, locked in transit. That's good. Whatever that means. Takes inventory of their shipments before distributing them to the station. They do. We're gonna get into the action. Right, so we've got to find some medical supplies. Where they might carry their medical equipment. Hey, what we'll do? We'll also have a look at these other ones, shall we? Seeds. Okay. So, if we hack the terminal. Right about there. Slow things down a bit. <laughs> Slow things give me down a, a little bit. It does. So I've identified that one. Open, open, open. Clothing. Five barrels of socks. Great. Ramen. Whoop. And over there, so we don't get tagged. Always good. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, hello. Let's have a look at you, Mr. Cargo Drill. What have you got? Anything good? We need the credits. <laughs> oh, ramen. Right. So let's get this. Oh, hello. Always a good point to wait until that's on its way back up. Can we get... Load, you load. Gonna arrange. Rubbish. Mutual member of power cells. Power it's cells we do tech. need. Why not? Why not? Oh. Power detected. Please distance yourself from the scanning port. Yep. <laughs> we have, we have, we have. Yeah. Thank you. Further approaches will be retaliated against immediately. Yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. There we go. Where do you keep the meds? Where do you keep the meds? Indeed. Indeed. I mean, Adam sounded like he didn't want to change his socks there, didn't he? Like, I don't need any socks. Everybody needs them. <clears throat> Oop, hello. Please enter authorization for medical equipment. Oop. Right. Yeah. Dax? Yeah? I just found the med pod, but for some reason it's under higher security. Do we have lock breakers in our hangar? If I can get this thing to base, I might be able to crack it. We may have something, but how are you planning to move an entire pod through super... Oops. Right. I Oops. am not. That, it will do all by itself. Just have to get my hands yeah. on Yeah, <clears throat> let's just 
Give myself a bit of distance there. Everything's hostile to me because, you know, it didn't like me. But I want the freebies. <laughs> we'll just go hang the terminal. As you do. No, back enough. Yeah, good, good, good. Almost. Come on, GB. Play nice. Play nice. I just want to hack the terminal. I just want to hack the terminal. Stop shooting at me. Can't we just be friends? Wow, that sneaky little shot through there, wasn't he? Dude. Oh, look, you in the alarm. Okay. Be quite happy now. Have you finished being nasty to me? Am I going to have to blow them up? <clears throat> Boom. Boom. Did that just go boom? Yeah, it did. Another blueprint. Turrets, we've got another continuum. We got shot from behind there. That was very rude. He's hitting hard. Can't get away from him. Ah! No updates. It's not going well, is it? Well, that's handy because it's reset. <laughs> See, what's what I needed to do is just die. <laughs> yep. Let's see if my old signature will do the trick. There we go. Hey. Hey. I think it's because I'm wearing the Kickstarter backer skin. I'm blaming that. Right, successful. Distributing to Rodia two. Shipment compromised. Initiate We can't tell him. We're not allowed. <laughs> Do you know? I can actually see Lee changing the document, so I know that he's actually changing the death counter. <laughs> You're a bad man, Lee. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Oop. Whoa, hello. No Gotta make a quick jump. Indeed. I've got him in my sights. Let's get out of there. I just just got absolutely wedged on that radar there. <clears throat> I think I shook him. You're right. Oh, Let's arrived. head back then, shall we? Perfect. Get your ass back here ASAP. You and me need to have a word. <laughs> indeed indeed that did i've actually been i'm pretty ashamed of my performance to be fair tonight unbelievable unbelievable shocking oh yeah absolutely shocking <laughs> 
I thought I'll just turn it up a notch, but it'll be fine. And then boom, pfft, dead three times. I think I, should, I, you know, I think I should just quit playing. Just. You know. Terrible, terrible performance. Terrible. Right, let's head him. <clears throat> what the hell were you thinking? You know we're trying to keep a low profile. Yeah, I'm trying not to die as well, Dax. Okay. Reroute this thing anyway. Okay, we'll skip With that. So, you know, you know the story. If you don't, then I don't want to spoil too much. Thanks to the new scanner, we can now reach far deep. I just had a scan. Yeah. Good old gradient brunt. Oh, we've leveled up as well. Level four. From your old buddies. Let's just skip. Thank you. Yep. Right. Let's just look at our inventory. We've got a device upgrade as well because we've leveled up. Outdated equipment. So this is where it's going to tell me that you need to upgrade your gear and... Uh, Okay, whilst it's still usable, you're just not going to be doing the damage that you need. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, such as the Prime Shield and obviously the homing missiles. They're, they're only a level one, so they do need a bit of work. Um, so we may need to look at upgrading them. This is the, obviously the four. Probably going to... Uh, do we? Do we? Ooh, that's a good one. Do we? <sighs> I'm just thinking the speed gain there is quite handy. So I think we need to switch to that. I think energy boost there. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think we might have to just switch around to that one. So anyway, we've got device upgrades, EMP, and we've also got the energized boost. Um, we did get the temporal uh, nano recompensator which restores 40% of your armor damage taken in the last 12 seconds. So that's only armor, okay? But, um, so yeah, I think we'll upgrade the EMP. I do like the EMP. It's very, very useful. Uh, so we'll upgrade that a couple of times. Oh, we can do it one more time. The, the next one is obviously going to give us the mastery. So we'll we'll go with that. And design's boost is okay. I do prefer the teleport. We may go buy one if we can get hold of it. <clears throat> there we go so uh, yeah it's it's always an it's the recharge is good the speed but yeah the structure yeah okay um interestingly when when we see the the build later on from uh from the riff one i'm going to show um you'll see a top end build um from wizard jerry again uh it's phenomenal but uh you'll see it it's, it's, you're going to be intrigued very intrigued very intrigued uh, so yeah, we can't really make anything, so yeah. We'll head out again. Try not to die. Right. Just gonna have a look. Because I may... Now I've got to level 4. Let's have a look around here for some resources. Spot something down here. Always have a little look around. Resources do replenish over time. Oop. Get rid of these. things things lots of icky things uh, some more SEM here as well so just grab the freebies there we go and a container the credits and iron here iron just any old iron Marvelous. right one thing uh and i'm going to show you a little secret in case you've never found it Always be mindful of glowing areas. Yes, you never know what you might find. There we go. Bulletproof container. So we get another mainframe. We get some more iron, which we do need. And a nice extra uh, sensor, which is very, very tasty. On the other side, the top side. So we'll go have a look at that. I'll just put that on. Let's plug that in. But yeah, we looks like we're going to do it. Needs to do a little bit of work in terms of upgrading on our ship. Uh, 
There we go. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's jump. Yeah. Off we go. Let's go to Nefties. Yeah, I, 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 over on YouTube, I know there's a bit of conversation there between Gordon and, uh, and Bearded Frog. Yes, I've been absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> I feel like uh, it's like I've never played the game before. Out of practice. Put down to that. Out of practice. Right. Let's go to Nefties. See what we can find. Yeah, Betty Frog, I just needed the coconuts and then I was gone. I was gone. Right, fend off the attackers. Let's get down in. Game is playing him, yeah. Bit of a pickle. Bit of a pickle. Madcap. That was not what I wanted to do. Tell you what we'll do. We'll do that. This one? I'll take them crisps. Thank you. There we go. I remember the G key. Sir, if you don't mind docking here, I'd like to have a word. I tell you that that's a win. That's a win. Uh, anything else? Fly oh, yeah, we get, let's get the credits. Credits. Come here, don't, don't go flying away. Credits. We need credits. Cool looking place. Cool looking place. <laughs> coming this close to GNB turf. Indeed. Yeah. We skip this. Skip. 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 Right, so when you get here, when you get here, obviously you come across something just crashed over there. <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> uh, you get your first option to have a look at what the ship dealer. This is the first time, and there, look at that, right? Okay, oh, anybody think we planned that? Uh, ship dealer. So keep an eye out uh, for a total number of nine different ship classes available. At the ship dealers. Each ship comes with a class dependent alt and a random set of class specific passives. Ships don't lose value when you buy them and can always be traded in for a ship of the same tier at nearly no cost. Okay, this makes it easy to try out different classes and find the one that suits your playstyle the best. It is something that we've kind of tried to emphasize to people, hence why we've got this pop up when you come to the ship dealer. Uh, literally that point there is that your ship doesn't lose value so it's never going to be like you're buying a car and it devalues your ships don't lose the value so when you go back to a ship dealer if there's i don't know you might have bought a scout and you're not loving the scout and you think oh okay i've got a tier two scout but there's a tier two sh gunship there it's going to be virtually the same value there's going to be a slight little difference but virtually the same and it just makes it easier to try out the different play styles so obviously a gunship will play differently to a scout you know a vindicator will play different to a striker so there's always that option one thing that i'll say to people as well especially when you get to higher level and you've probably already done it a lot of you i know already have your nine different classes of ship which you you try but if you're not there at that point but you want to try it when you get to a ship dealer um such as this and you might see a tier four ship probably when you, you're at prescott if you want to, the good thing to try is make a game save. So save your game at that point. When you're at Prescott, for example, at Kato's, save the game. And then from that point on, you swap your ship. You try out, see whatever you like. If you don't like that specific ship and you think, oh, I'm just going to trade it in, you could do that or you could just reload your save. So there is an option to do that. So switching that way is possible or literally uh, just 
because of the value doesn't change um you can just swap them out it's entirely up to you so you've got plenty of options plenty of choices um so uh there we go right let's just skip past that uh in addition to there is light and heavy ships so yeah have a little read of that obviously or what you want to do so over the far side you can see obviously we've got the different ship types we've got the scout the vanguard the stinger the striker the sentinel the interceptor and the gunship and the titan bomber c1 bomber there oh look at that Oof. And the tempest vindicator the a3 something else has just blown up off screen as well i think <laughs> these people are in uh, uh, a problem with this um so we you can see you've got literally the option of buying every ship now you can see that as well above my head up here that one i can't go that high uh trading profit okay you're going to make 1570 now and the full price would cost you 12,000. obviously i haven't got but because we're trading it in it would be an option so anything with a green symbol of the credit symbol that you can see on the screen there means that you can afford it anything obviously the red sees these uh, are tier one pluses you can't because you know even with your trading you haven't got enough money so we could look at swapping ship i did enjoy the striker i have enjoyed it in my other playthrough that i've been playing on on uh uh game pass because i've been playing the game pass version as well uh, you know we buy all that. um so i have enjoyed that so that's an osprey f5 which i'm probably going to switch to uh we'll have to see we'll have to see you know probably there uh then we've got the reaver sentinel which is very similar but obviously uh um, similar to what we're flying got the gunship the big tank there the interceptor bomber i've never played the bomber uh vindicate you know that i've been playing that because you have seen me play that before um but i do like vanguard probably not i think i'm going to switch to the striker we're going to give the striker a go see what that's like let's do that we're going to buy and sell and then oh, there we go we make a little bit of profit there a little bit of profit so we're just loading that one in so Let's take this for a spin. There we go. So there we go. Look at our nice new ship, you know. It's going to stand out like a sort of it. Yeah, a lot of people do it. And I, and I think, uh, to be fair, Frog, I think you're very right. It's a very striking design. I mean, you've never, ever seen that design at all in um, spaceship design, have you? Never. But yeah, to be fair, it is uh, obviously a very iconic design. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're all influenced by many things and that uh, certainly is uh, the case there. Uh, new stuff, anything in the inventory? Okay, we can shop, we can sell some stuff here as well. But we did actually have to get lose that because we haven't got as many. Um, sell that, sell that. No, keep hold of that for the time being. We'll just dismantle that one. Sell, sell, sell. They need ramen. They definitely we'll get, we'll get rid of the the laser now. We don't need lasers. Uh, so what have they got? Anything? Have we got quantum tether? <sighs> uh, mm. I don't actually know. I'm not a fan of gauze cannons. But I do need a better shield. I can nearly craft one, but I can purchase one there. And this is what you kind of got to keep an eye on is that you're... Um, yes. I don't see even that energy core is tempting. Mm, okay. I think we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll go with the shield. And then we'll go with the energy core as well. Just to give us a little bit of a boost. Bombing well, missiles, I'm not too worried about. I'll still use them because it'll come in handy. Uh, we're just going to dismantle that energy core just because we need them. Uh, and then the prime shield is going to drop. And that's going to unlock there, <laughs> ironically. Interesting uh, thing. You just got to remember, like, if we look at, say, the energy core there, we've got two or three of the blueprint. Now you're thinking, oh, I'm going to have to wait for another energy core. If you find one, obviously I've just bought the one from here. If you find one for sale, just and you've got the credits, buy it, dismantle it. You get the blueprint, then you can craft something. If it's not a good one, you know, if it's a if it's a common one, then it's, it's ideal because it's a, a lesser price. But hmm? right, we'll go quickly do this, and then we've got to sharpishly dive on and do some other stuff. My tech advisor transferred 
data concerning two nearby mines. Mines? Each harboring about half a dozen rapscallions. Rapscallions. Right, just leave it to me. Wonderful. Then Godspeed. Boop. Whoop. Rap scallions, I say. The lot of them. Love them. Bits of debris just floating off. Love it. Right. In we go. Oh, hello. You can go where detonated runs. Not having to deal with you. Nope. Cool. While we're here. Get these. Thank you. And then last and certainly not least is some of those. Right. There we go. Whee. Right, across we go to the other desert mine. If you've got any more questions, please do fire them in. We'll be answering them when we look at screenshots as well. Because it gives us a good opportunity to let you know what's happening in the world. Oops, we get a lock. There we go. Thank you. Right. In we go. Go away, you. Thank you. Detonator drone. Great. A detonator drone. Yeah. I like where this is going. Wait to hell. To me. Gotcha. Uh, we'll grab these as well over here. Excellent. Whoop. Find the laser. Could be painful. Boom. Hang on, where are you? <clears throat> that was half a dozen. That was half a dozen. Right, valuable shipwrecks. If you find these. They usually contain something good. Magnetic repulsor. That's not something I use. But we'll take it. It's good. It's free. We all like some freebies. All right. There we go. Hey, you. This cave is ours now. Uh, because you killed everyone inside? Wow. Oh. It's a blasted vicious circle. It's a blasted vicious circle, dude. Oof. Thank you. Oh, that's it, station, expect things to be a lot calmer from now Indeed. On. Thank you. We are in your debt. And I'm glad I could help. Heading back to your place now. There we go. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Up. Up. So, this is so there we go. Right, we'll just, we won't restock because we never know what we're going to find. So we did get a new energy. Ooh. That's nice. Level five. Ooh. Uh passive we got is can grab and throw drones <laughs> i forgot to check on that <clears throat> uh and then the mm, slightly better on there okay yeah okay <clears throat> no mm, oh but yeah Ooh, ftt call right uh it's coming up to quarter to nine so we've got uh, about another 15 minutes and i've got a lot of screenshots to get through so uh uh, just bear with me. I shall just uh, save there. I'm just going to... Um, there we go. Uh, newest save. Oh, caps lock on. That's good. Newest save. There we go. We'll go with that. Right. <laughs> Dismiss. Right. Bear with me. I shall be back in a moment. Don't go nowhere.
If you do want to follow us on all the socials, you can. We're there over on Twitter, X, however you want to call it. Rockfish Games, you want to follow us on there. Everspace Game as well. Uh, you can follow, obviously, the YouTube, uh, Rockfish Games. Also on our Discord, discord.gg forward slash Rockfish Games, if you want to join us on there. We're always welcoming to new pilots. And if you've got anything that you need to bring to the table in terms of bug reports, you can go to the Steam forums. Or if you want to, we do have a support forum on our Discord now where you can put all the wonderful things, uh, whether the suggestions, ideas, problems, anything such as those. And we're more than happy to hear your thoughts. Right. Just do that. So let's just plug that there. There. Good to go. Right. I think we shall switch you to um, screeny shots. Look at that. Hello. Welcome back. Right. So we're going to have to fly through these because we've got quite a few to, to see. Uh, like I said, because we do two weeks, uh, obviously, between shows now, between our streams, then we do have um, quite a, a large amount of screenshots that are put in via Steam and the Discord. And we even pick them up on socials as well. I know Lee obviously sees quite a lot on the uh, uh, Twitter and also on Facebook and places like that. So we do uh, we do scour them for uh, some hot shots and trust us we have got some many many one. So uh, there we go. Right. So first up, this shot is from Steam, funnily enough, and this is from Al Terry down over there. I did like this shot just because of the depth of speed. Obviously, we just we just picked up the striker, which is um, very very nice. Uh, obviously, it's a, a very iconic design, but I did like the uh, the depth of field, uh, given the kind of um, perception of fast speed, which the striker is. It's a very fast ship, very, very, very love, uh, lovely. A uh, bearded frog has noticed, obviously, uh, uh, a certain um, change to our um, uh, DMZ news. Yes, we've got some uh, got some things in there. So, yeah, very, very nice ship. Uh, lovely done uh, from Alteri Dan over on Steam. Uh, next up, we have one from Discord this time, and it's a new user who's been posting some very, very cool images. And this one, it, it just, to me, it, it, I thought it looked like the bottom of the ocean. It really did. It's just so mysterious, and it seemed to convey a lot of depth, a lot, a lot of depth there. Uh, but um, and that's from Adam GD. Uh, over on our Discord, so yeah, do uh, do check it out. They've been posting quite a few, very good work, very impressive, very impressive indeed. And uh, next up, we've got one of our regulars who you'll know and love, XL. Um, wonderful screenshot. Now this one, uh, just for uh, clarity, is from Everspace One. Um, it is an amazing looking game still, and it's also on sale. Hmm, we'll get to more to that as well in a minute. Uh, but yeah, he's been uh, intentionally looking and looking and looking for one specific shot that he hasn't found yet uh, in Everspace 1, but uh, still he pulls out top draw material, which uh, is showing for us uh, on Steam and on Discord. So uh, there we go. Can you, can you see that wonderful vista? Uh, a great planet from, from Everspace 1. So yeah, do... Um, uh, do check out Everspace 1 if you haven't already, because it's just as beautiful as the current game. Uh, next up, we have uh, Winged Nightmare, uh, who's been absolutely smattering the Discord with great shots. And this one I loved because of the coloration. It's not everybody's cup of tea. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I think it works in this environment. It's such a wonderful environment. The background with the different hues of blues and purples and pinks and everything matching the ship perfectly and that's what we love we love people that are going out there and finding those specific areas and then matching their ships to um the the environment and then taking screenshots thoroughly impressive thoroughly impressive uh top marks there for uh wing nightmare uh, next up pesky husky a uh, brilliant shot this one I, I absolutely love it because it just looks like this vanguard is just waving two lightsabers around <laughs> <laughs> That's all I see. It's just two two lightsabers, two lightsabers. Great work. Uh, loving it um, for uh, for the uh, <laughs> for the, the stylization of it. Uh, contrast in the green body and then the red. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, we'll just answer a couple of questions uh, in the interim. Um, Louis Long over on YouTube. Uh, how are ships made um, now? Presumably, you mean uh, how we design them. Uh, 
in the game. Um, in, in that's the case, then obviously we have uh, design meetings to look at those elements. And then the concept artists will try and bring those ideas to life. And then they're refined through a process of um, submissions within the team. And then designs are pulled apart and then put back together. And it can take quite a long time to do. Um, I, I couldn't tell you the actual length of time, but um, it can take several months to design uh, ships, uh, if not longer. Uh, and then obviously, once they've gone through concept, then they need to be built uh, within the game as well so uh, yeah it can take a long long time uh, and just to answer your follow-up question there is what is the dmz uh, the dmz is the demilitarized zone that is the zone the buffer between the oka homeworlds and basically the um the humanoids that came into the area and it's a place where you cannot have any military it's basically a um an area with no military in it whatsoever and they don't uh, allow people to be um you know any military force to be in there it's kind of a, um, a buffer zone between the two cultures so it's it's very very good very very good um i see we've got a follow-up just on uh twitch from proc the rock do you design the ship as a whole or as modular parts um i think it's a bit of both to be honest with proc the rock i'd have to actually ask the concept designers i think they'll initially come up with the concept overall of a whole and then it can be broken up into parts because obviously we have a very modular system uh, within the game now obviously the uh the wings the engines um the um cockpit etc are all broken up so they have to be designed as a whole for the concept and then they'll be broken up into parts to make them up, them all work so, yeah. there we go right next up great shot uh, from uh, pesky by the way uh, is a new uh, user uh, this one is from rat with a gat over on steam <laughs> hell of a name hell of a name but uh by the way, this one again, it reminded me of being underwater uh, simply because this, uh, obviously, the uh, the lava field that we've got there. And then it, uh, over here where the below the ship, where you can see the, the asteroid uh, remnants, uh, it looks like water air bubbles are coming out from the kind of lava, like oxygen's been released. And it just made it look like it was underwater. And that's what just attracted me to that shot. But I thought it was a great shot. Uh, and then just you can see the ship swooping across the skyline there. Uh, great work uh, from uh, Rat with a Gat. Lovely name. Great, great names. Um, next up, and this one dropped fairly recently. Uh, and this was from Kizor over on our Discord. It's, it's just a feast for the eyes. Uh, so much going on, so much action. You can see the ship. You can see, you know, the, the lights, the engines everything about it but it's then silhouetted behind against the the lava spouts there but then when you look even further you can see that there's the planet in the in the distance with the uh the star of the system just ever so slightly peeking around uh a uh, great shot really there's so much going on that you your eyes are drawn from kind of left to right and then even further into into the image but yeah that was a great shot from kizor next up Back to Excel, and this is kind of uh, phone wallpaper territory again. You know he does these kind of shots, and it's amazing work. Uh, so, yeah, very vertical uh, type. I think it's the, like a 19.6 uh, instead of a widescreen of 16 by 9. I think it's 19.6 or 16.9. can't remember which way around it is. Uh, but it's a great work from Excel. He posted this on the Discord, so if you aren't already on the Discord, do take a look at our Discord uh in the screenshot section because you'll see all these and you can download them take a look at them and use them as uh mobile phone backgrounds and all sorts desktop backgrounds because they're so lush and wonderful but yeah excellent work from excel again again you can see why he's got the galactic photographer can't you? uh this one great picture from steam from prince of persil not prince of persia the prince of persil so he obviously does a lot of washing but here he is He's the person that we need to blame for Palaemon going boom. You can see, you know, he's uh, <laughs> he's got some strong, powerful weapons on that ship of his. And, you know, it looks like he's fired a few rockets. And there he is with his uh, his disintegrator just obliterating a, um, a planet. I think we might need to have a word and just say, I think that build's a bit too powerful if it can blow up a, uh, blow up a planet. So, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but that's a great shot loved it i love the concept and how he's uh brought it all together very very well done uh prince of Persil over on steam uh louis long uh just asked a question uh a little bit what's the op ship what would in terms of do you mean uh, what is considered the overpowered ship in the game if you ask different people you'll get a different answer a lot of people will say the gunship is very very powerful other people will say that the almighty ship is um a stinger striker you you'll get all sorts of variety of answers i like the uh, the gunship as i said earlier but uh, it can vary from person to person so we'll we'll, ne we'll never know uh this shot is from back on steam actually is to alteri dan again who brought us the first screenshot uh this one um if you know where this is taken uh you'll know a lot of people ask if we're ever going to go back there who knows who knows who knows but a great shot i love this in the chase scene very very good shot love it love it uh next up it's from bw lambrecht over on our discord um i think this is kind of filtered uh in terms of um almost like fan art uh but it's very very cool very very cool uh, i like how it's almost like on almost like 8-bit styling if you take a look at it uh, up close and personal on um, on our discord you'll see see the the effect that he's gone on there but it's very very cool i like it i like it I like it a lot and this one is again from adam gd uh he brought this one and it's just the torrential rain and i think we all know where that is where that horrible horrible weather it is um yeah gilbert we all know that place that, that weather it's disgusting but yeah that uh that strike is gonna need to have a bit of a chamois off of uh, you know to keep it dry but yeah lovely weather it's almost like it's been taken in england you know what the uk is like for our weather <laughs> but uh, yeah great shot from adam gd uh, switching back to again only one person that can really bring this to fruition is xl absolute love uh that one look at that planet you just want to go there don't you? you just want to head there you just want to see what's on that planet you just want to you know check out the environment find out new things strange new worlds strange new worlds but yeah xl uh, bringing the glorious backgrounds uh, as always lovely work lovely work i'm gonna have to speed through these we've got so much to do so much to do uh this one actually is from steam again now this one this name is gonna be an absolute nightmare for me to pronounce but it's muxa jibla yes muxa jibla uh and uh obviously they're getting a, a bit of hassle from uh a certain entity there a certain warden is uh He's giving the player a bit of grief there, so they better be doing a slinky rocket dodge or two there uh, to avoid that, because that's that's going to be painful. I think they already are scooting sideways, but I think they, they may get the odd one or two little little tickle there from uh, from the Warden's energy weapon. Uh, next, we have one of my favourites for this week, I will say, uh, from Not Scion over on Discord. Uh, a great shop. Just left home base... It's a very iconic um, scene. Well, then that ship is just oozing red. Just oozing red. <laughs> Baited Frog Gay. If only Eric was here to pronounce that name, yeah. He wouldn't have chosen that one. He wouldn't have chosen that screenshot at all. But this one from Not Siam. Absolutely fabulous. Love it. Absolutely love that shot. Um, again, do check these out on Steam and on Discord. Uh, they're there available to look at. But that is such a contrasting image. Oh, perfect, perfect. Uh, quickly onwards to Wing Nightmare again over on the Discord. Um, wonderful shots here we have from uh, him, or shots rather. We've got several of them. All of his favourite ships uh, in their different colorations and different areas. Lovely little collage. So, uh, yeah, if, um, if you do want to package them as a little collage like that, then please do. We're more than happy to take a look at them um swiftly swiftly moving on another one of our galactic photographers who can always bring the game uh in terms of screenshots is the chemical bro and this one was posted on also on steam as well as our discord um very iconic view that the the star at the top just hanging there and then you've just got the window through the gap in the asteroid 
Brilliant shot. Brilliant shot. Love it. Love it. And then back to XL, who's bringing his air game for his ships as well. Uh, a lovely... Uh, we, we do get a lot of these shots where the, the ship is kind of just inside the, uh, the circle of a planet, but that's a wonderful shot. Um, great, uh, great work from XL, as always. Um, next up, next up, next up. Again, one of my favourites. Okay, one of my favourites. Again... From not Sion. Uh, he's doing some great work. This was posted on the Discord. The depth of field. I think there's just a missile just about to be launched in our general direction, just underneath the ship. Uh, but the depth of field of the... I think it's a disintegrator that he must have on there for that effect. But it is absolutely superb. I really like that shot. It's probably probably my favourite. He's, he's actually brought his A game this week. Uh, great stuff. Great stuff. So that's not Sion. Right. The next shot I'm going to show is to do with um, some of the questions that we've had with regards the physical art book. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the screenshot. Here it is. We've received the physical art books into the office in Hamburg. Okay, we'll have more details about what's happening next week. Okay, so these are for the Kickstarter backers, etc originally this was going to be a 52 page booklet that we we're going to have originally as the kickstarter it's now turned into a 280 high quality hardback book it is phenomenal quality if you've seen the digital uh, version that we've got available um, on our steam store it is yeah 2400 kilograms of books um the team have been there sorting them out etc it looks absolutely phenomenal i can't wait to get my hands on mine the original um digital one looks fantastic as it is but in print mwah, sweet absolutely sweet it looks absolutely wonderful and to be honest with you as a team we are so glad we went in such a high quality direction with these because the game is amazing uh to look at obviously you'll see a lot of concept art you'll see a lot of um developer diaries as such uh, i'm in there so if you want to read about my travels into everspace 2 i know lee's in there as well and all the uh, all some of the other uh, eric's in there as well and some of the other devs um but it is absolutely fantastic uh, we'll have more details about what's happening uh next week so look out on the kickstarter and then we'll have news etc uh nothing else really to say on that but they're there you can see that they're physical. Oh, they're in people's hands. Uh, so, yeah, look out next week. Right, we're nearly at the end of the time, but I did say we're going to look at something which is absolutely phenomenal. Now, if you've been on our Discord, you'll have noticed this um, from Wizard Jerry. Wizard Jerry is an absolute lunatic, and in the good sense, absolutely phenomenal sense. Um, what he can do in, in Rifts is beyond comprehension you can see that i've died in three three times in in a hard run i'm going to show you a video i've had to condense it down because it was 15 minutes long and that's how long it took him to do this one run however however um it was tough it was tough but the reason this is phenomenal is that there's a few things it's a 1k lunacy rift okay so it's the maximum lunacy that we can possibly do the mutators on the run are Minds on Death and Jarred Sensors. Okay, nothing too spectacular there. He's using a Stinger Hornet C4 with uncommon weapons and equipment only with Catalyst. Now you think, okay, that's tough. You know, give yourself a challenge. Give yourself a challenge. However, did it with no shields and no armor so uncommon equipment or weapons no shield no armor we take a look we have all these different gear that he's using he's just showing it off the resistances etc he's got there different sets items you can see there's no shield and there's no armor on his ship either all uncommon sorry common common sorry common yes 
uh, uncommon. Sorry, no, it was uncommon. I had it written down wrong. Sorry, yeah, uncommon. So he's got close call, relentless exploitation, play it safe, critical faculty, and symphony of destruction. The consumables are damage boosters, and uh, the devices are the annihilator virus, fusion hook, and EMP and teleport. I've frozen it there just so you can see that his total settings were all set to the max. Absolutely bonkers. Well, <laughs> it is phenomenal. Like I say, this original video was 15 minutes long. I've edited it down with Jerry's permission um, to take a look at. Now, he is using it in Mandarin Chinese, so hence why the text has changed, uh, because that's very easy for him. Uh, obviously, it's his natural language. So we'll see various cuts between how uh, he's, you know, managing at the start. You know, his resolve's okay. He's getting there, getting to like 10%. You know, he's doing well using all these devices. You can see that he's even using the devices already. Um, Weber, sorry, stabilizer missiles. And then using all these devices and he's flying along nicely. But, you know, he's using a blaster, which is doing the damage. Void Swarm as well seems to be doing uh, some wonderful um, damage to the required enemies. But the skill remember there's no shield and there's no armor so we're just going to switch to the end of the first sector he's at 91 percent uh, of completion the resolve is still high you can see he's not struggled this poor drone carrier is getting an absolute beating <laughs> absolute beating there he is completed got some tears that i'm add on to part two so he starts off very, very well. Simulate now part two. He did struggle a little bit. Uh, I, I don't mean this disrespectfully. I think it was the toughest sector from what I've seen of the video. Um, he did get through it quite well, uh, but it was one of his longest things. Uh, the enemies weren't playing ball. They were not playing ball. Uh, Wizard Jerry, I hope as well at some point you could put this um, uh, your build up onto our Discord, if you'd be so kind about everything that you put in there and the reasons behind it, because it is an absolute phenomenal. So you can see he's doing okay, 16% through completion, getting a few hits because of the um, mines on death um, thing that he's got. So that's going. So we're now pushing on to the end of sector two, kicking ass, absolutely kicking ass as he's going through, um, taking things down, taking things down. But it doesn't all go perfectly well. It doesn't all go perfectly well. But he's going there. 98% completed. Is he going to be? Yeah. A few more hits. A few more hits. I think he'll get through this. Look at these resolves though. 7%. 6.5. Boom. Just got it. Just got it there. So he was very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. On to sector three. Again, this one's quite a tough one. Obviously, you can see he's lost a bit of his hull. Uh, only a little bit. He's probably got three quarters left. But um, the mine's on death. Causing problems. Causing problems. <laughs> I know that all too well, madcap. Uh, so, here we go. Now, like I say, it took uh, overall about 15 minutes to do this. And he tried it several, several times. It wasn't just, I can just do that. He had to practice. He had to get it, the technique right. And you can see he's doing a phenomenal job. He's down to... The last lot of three. The last lot of three. So here we are, 85% of the way through completed on sector three. Ooh. Hello. Hello, Eric. That's why he had close call. He absolutely saved him there. You can see he's now hasn't got close call. He's still on that minimal percent of uh, hull he, if he takes one more hit he, he's gone he's gone but ooh, that detonator mine i love that i love how it was just about to blow and then poof, he teleports away good player there wizard jerry good player but yeah he's struggling a little bit he's the resolves dropping but the uh the completion's at 94 so i think he's doing a very very good job but yeah wizard jerry did this is just you know phenomenal work we showed this to the rest of the team when he posted it and they were like how how they were thoroughly impressed i mean his, his exceptional work still at 95 percent, 98 50 percent resolve gone it's still tough it's still tough you've got to battle all the way all the way um but yeah nearly completed nearly completed 32 percent on the resolve see it's tough it's tough looking for targets still it is hard hard work this um like i say 15 minutes concentration there it does he's done stage three 
uh, and then uh, just tidying up a few little enemies to try and get some repairs. And then we're in for probably the easiest part for him uh, of the whole fight, which is dealing with this um, the boss at the end. The damage numbers, you can see, he's just loving these damage numbers. Absolutely loving them. But uh, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal work across the board there, uh, Wizard Jerry. Um, he, he's just showing off now by swirling out of the way from all of the uh, the damage that this uh, this boss is trying to push out to him, the Redeemer. And he's just not getting a, an absolute hand on him at all. But uh, now that, folks, you've got to remember is Wizard Jerry, top quality pilot. He knows the nuances. There we go, Eric again. Hey, Eric. Well done. He, even he's impressed. He thought he'd say hello. But well, that is <laughs> Wizard Cherry, just absolutely phenomenal. I'm just going to bring that back up just while we finish. So remember, that was no shield and no armor and only uncommon weapons. Yes, some of them had catalysts on, but still, it's only uncommon. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> right, I'm way over time, way over time. Lee's probably thinking, I want to go for my dinner. What are you doing? What are you doing? But I'm just going to tell you a few things before we go. Everspace 2 is on sale currently across the board, wherever you're on PlayStation, whether you're on Xbox, whether you're on good old games, whether you're on Steam, uh, there's a discount there, 30% off. If you want um, it on PlayStation, you get 30% on. If you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, then you get an extra 10% off. So if you're not already then you are going to get uh, an extra 10%, so that makes it 40%. That's a bargain. Uh, the official soundtrack and the digital version of the art book is 20% off. Um, and then Everspace 1, if you want to dive into that, if you want to dive into the first version of the game that we ever had in terms of uh, the world of Everspace, then that is available for 80% off on Steam. 80%. I think it's the biggest discount we've ever had. Uh, if you do want to get the DLC, which is called Encounters, that's 67% off as well. We do recommend, or just personally, get both. Get the base game and the DLC. It does enhance it massively. And if I can ask you all that have played the game, if you've not already, uh, we are um, nominated uh, within the um, <clears throat> Steam Awards this year for Outstanding Visual. Uh, we want to get a real good nomination in there. You can nominate us across the board if you wish. But we are specifically looking for Outstanding Visual Award. If you can nominate us on Steam for that, we would be eternally in your debt, and we thank you very much for doing so. And also, if you can leave a Steam review um, on our Steam pages to say how much you like the game, what you don't like, you can input what you don't like. A positive review is going to help us massively, absolutely massively, to be higher up in the discoverability of the algorithms that work on Steam. So if you can help us with that, that would be much appreciated. Because for an indie dev team like us, it's all about finding our pathway and getting, saying, hey, look, we're a good game. Come and buy us and, uh, you know, get more fans coming into the Everspace world. But I'm out of time. I'm way over time. I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, we'll be back in two weeks. OK, so Eric should be back then. We've got two more streams before our Christmas break. Uh, so, yes, two weeks time. Hope you can join us then. You've all been fabulous. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for Lee for helping us out with uh, <laughs> everything else um, on the, <laughs> the questions. And thank you, boys and girls, for being a wonderful bunch, as you always are. We shall see you in the next one. Eric will be back in the sea. I'll be on the comms. And we shall see you again soon. In the meantime, folks, take care. Be good. See you again there. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.